Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel where we are going to be diving into a new game, literally, that I have been meaning to play. We are playing Dave the Diver. Uh, we're going to dive right I, I, Oh my gosh, I, I don't be saying that often. We're going to dive right in into this. Okay, let's go. All right, all right. New game, load. Okay, new game. Okay. Sushi. So he's needing food? There's no dialogue, so not quite sure. I mean, sushi makes sense if we're having to go and try to get some food out of the water. Fish, you know? This is a very cozy opening, though. Oh, you got the director. Makes me want to go to Hawaii or something. Oh, there we go. Hello. Okay. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. So every time you go in the water, it's different? What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? Yeah, I don't know how to play this game. I need a tutorial, please. And thank you. I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. I don't have a good feeling about this. Prologue, a sushi bar by the blue hole. All right, so you move with W, A, S, and D. Is this strictly just mouse and keyboard or just a keyboard game? Space to dive. Oh, you gotta hold space to dive. Okay. Ooh. Nice form. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> Alright, how about trying to stretching out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. With left shift, you can move quickly. Remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. Alright, so I got 89 oxygen. Got it. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. So I'm slow. Let's now practice using the weapon you'll need to... The dive knife. Try using a survival knife on the small fish. You can use the left mouse. I, I, well, I can't seem to be able to get any fish. A harpoon. Uh, do you aim first and then? Looks like you'll need some practice. I need to catch three fish with my harpoon. I right, aim and then, okay, easy enough. Oh, slow motion. I missed. There's one, a sea goatee. There's two. Uh, let's try a different fish, I missed. Let's try this fish right here. God dang it. Oh wow, this is... Ooh, all right, they, these guys are a little little difficult to get. They, they move at the perfect time. Oh my gosh, I am horrible. Hey, there we go. Think that should get you back on track in no time. All right, come back to the boat. All right, well. Now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. 
Dave, you love sushi, right? Mm -hmm. For sure, that soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. Oh, oh well, listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef who left the business for oh. a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper. But he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the oh. world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. Hey. Sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for this? Yum, I'm already craving it. Look at his face. He's got the two thumbs up and everything. I bet. Why don't you join in on this awesome adventure as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad. Uh, accept. So I can eat as much sushi as I want? What if I said no? Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It's supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go and have a chat at the restaurant. Uh... Sushi. So far, this is... It looks like there's a lot... Potentially going on in this game. Hey, Boncho. Are you ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. It's already finished? Oh, you're the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. Alright, anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. So you like sushi? Sure do. Tuna belly eel sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes mother nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted it more accessible fish just like you. How empty a life is that one ends without ever tasting the beauty mother nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of mother nature to everyone. Uh oh. Uh. There's an earthquake going on. And there goes the restaurant. An earthquake. The interior is really quite a mess. Looks like we'll have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair cost through doing business. In this state? In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? I caught three fish. This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Won't that decrease sales? Maybe? Think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It's the chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision. Just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Alright, so back to the boat. We gotta catch seven more fish. Seems Boncho is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but the guy can talk about sushi all night. I haven't seen Boncho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Should not have brought that up. Hmm. What has happened here? Alright, so we gotta catch seven fish. And make a hundred gold. Well, let's go ahead and dive. Seven fish. Let's see if we can actually, uh, oh, I don't know, aim correctly. That would be nice. Oh, I already see like nine fish in here. All right, so we have a knife. Oh my gosh. What is this? This is a eel or something. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh.
There we go. Two more, two more. Okay. Let's see if I can just cut them. No way we can do it. Oh, I was gonna say, that would be messed up. All right, they have the seahorses uh, safe. I wonder if they just swim around you if you don't move. No, they go away. This is ridiculous. Come on. Hey, one more, one more. There we go. There's our seven, let's go back up. We got our seven. Turn to the boat. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boat lands of money in no time. My, my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? All right. Biggest fish was a sea goldie. 20 centimeters. To the fish tank. Wrap your day. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. So you can only do it twice a day. Alright, get the ingredients ready. So right now it's evening, but it's basically nighttime. How are the preparations coming along? I think we're mostly set. That's good, here's to a great evening. Where do you think we're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? Here to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. I don't understand. Cobra told me that there could be somebody to help with ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. Oh no. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? All right, you're kind of just throwing us in the fire here. Open the ingredients below. All right, here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Press C to close the ingredients window. Now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. Uh, one. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the first... There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Add to the menu. Oh, clownfish? Max four, okay. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. All right, well, what else can we add? We got, okay. Uh, yeah, this one, we got a lot of sea goldies. And sure, this one. Bronze or higher for the other ones. How long are you gonna stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? Only soft drinks, I think. I'll tell you how, go over to Cobra. Pre oh, there's a bunch of mini games. This is gonna be interesting. Oh, you can only hold it once. Customers who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. That is actually not that easy because it actually has liquid effects. It's quite something. That tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Wait until the cooking is done. Come over to where I am and take this food. You can dash when serving food. Press left shift. 
Hello. You sent the passage. Wait, what? You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. What the? He just left. Crowbar didn't eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. What? Never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table mm. twice. Well, all right. Can I just eat it? Press Q to discard it. Mm. Everything looks about ready. Hmm, I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. All right. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes. All right. Well, what does the menu look like? Are we good? We're good. Oh, okay. Well, oh, it's open for business. This is about to... This may be a total failure. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. 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 They're ordering. All right. We got, we got some food ordering. All right, take the food. Who's this one? That's you. All right. Oh, I gotta get you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I got you. What is that? Oh my gosh, you gotta clean the tables? This is insane. There's a this is a lot of managing. What? Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. All right, I think everybody's good, right? We good? We good? We good? Oh, I gotta clean this table. Hold on. Oh, you gotta tap that multiple times. How are we doing? How are we doing? Oh, I am running out of food. How are we doing? Hey, let's go. Close for the day. Right on. We made $35. Hey, we earned five stars. Five, you earned Artisan's Flame. I don't know what that is. Hey, not bad on the first day on the job, I'll say. And my voice just cracked. Phew, work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for the first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. Hee hee, ha ha, ho ho. A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, yeah, all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. Oh my gosh, this game is... This game is probably gonna get insane later on. We got some packaging. And they just crashed. Question mark? That's messed up. Wait, do we, is that just loot that we can grab in the water? So it's now Sunday, October 2nd. We got a call from Ellie. Are you the man who's been diving around here? I think so, I am the only one in the water. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? I'm in my scuba gear. Ellie, I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie, I study biology at the local graduate school. I'm getting bullied by a student. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. It's a giant octopus. Okay, satisfied. So what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of the blue hole. Get some agar? Agar, agar, and red starfish first. 
I don't think it's a good idea. I, I, I cannot talk. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. That is, I, what tone? She literally is speaking in dots. She. All right. I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A reward? Ah, yes. You just got simped. Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Uh, okay. You can use your phone to access various types of content. Check your current missions and more. Alright, so you got to acquire two agar and two red starfish. And then our phone is escape. And then we can call. Interesting. Alright, uh, well, let's go down into the water. It's time to dive. Uh, looking for some red plants and two red starfish. That is some treasure right there. Let's open this. That is a baseball bat. You can... Okay, we're, well, we, we got a baseball bat. Um... Hey! Oh, I'm not strong. Okay, not strong enough. What about this one? Nope, it got away. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, I gotta find this stuff. Hold on. What is this? That is not what I need. What is this? A silver bowl. That is also not what I need. Copper ore? We're mining? Alright, I gotta find, uh... I gotta find whatever it is really fast. I'm, I'm almost out of oxygen. Alright, there's a red starfish. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay. Alright, there's that. There's also another treasure down here. Ooh. Hey. C. Yeah, I'll take that. Allows us to travel. That's just some wood. Alright, so we are needing another red starfish. Give me the fish. Thank you. Ooh, this is a different fish. Oh, come on. Hey. A lagoon trigger fish. That's different. The other ones didn't give me that meter. I'm in critical depth. Is critical depth not safe? Oh, okay, okay. My my oxygen tank cannot handle this. Understood. I un I understand. Really? Really? Right, yellow back fuseler. All right, uh, we we're on the lookout for red starfish. Red starfish. Does uh do the items here have durability? Uh, that's is that better? No, that's worse. Ooh, there's more oxygen right here. We got our oxygen back. Oh, not touching that. That was bad. Where do we even have a health bar? I... What is that? Or orbicular? Wait, what? I can't get some crawfish. No. All right. Understood. All right, all right, all right. Come on, I need some dang red uh, starfish. More oxygen. Ah, uh, there's a red starfish. Found one. Let's go. All right, 
Let's get some as much fish as we can. Give it to me. Really? Okay. I'm not a fan of like... Oh! There we go. Like th this, this arc right here. This... This right here... Not a fan of it. I need like a, a rainbow. I, I need a rainbow. Alright. That's what I need. Um, I... Well, I, oh, the jellyfish? Those will probably kill me. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and go on up, back up to the boat. Finish that mission. Uh, Alright, she's already calling right away. You actually brought them back? I guess I expected too little of you. Alright, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. Ooh, I just got a girl's number. We got gold, olive oil, and soy sauce. That is all for the restaurant. You collected a hundred gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. And give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. All right. We caught seven fish and we got a bunch of other things as well. Uh, cooking ingredients. All right, we got two new cooking ingredients. Nice. Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? A gun? <laughs> he even said it too. I find a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Duff. This guy is a pro gamer. Cobra, it's been a while. Who's goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting, I thought divers were athletic and muscular. Uh, say so yourself, man. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. Mm -hmm. People who live in glass houses. Mm -hmm. So what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the Hello. point. To be, I've begun very interesting business. Hello. And now I'm in need of some weapon stuff. I need your help. Mm -hmm. Hmm, season 2 of Strostella just ended in anyway. I'll give you a listen. Hello. All right, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. Wait, what? Oh, so all that, the baseball bat and all that. Does, oh, okay. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. That is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. So we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. You'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it appears that you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I need one rope and one scrap oh. iron. Alright, enter the blue hole and... You've heard him, right Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap oh. iron. If you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. I'll always keep that in mind. Alright, so we gotta make ourselves a weapon. Alright, well, let's go ahead and... Uh... Dive on down. Ah, oh, there's some uh, rope. Alright. Yeah, there's rope. Alright, I got the rope. Now I just need some scrap iron. Please. Ow. Ow. Uh. I 
wonder if I can slice these. Oh, oh, that's not good. Hey, fried egg jellyfish. Ah, there's rope. Wood. Alright, fill up the oxygen. What is our health? Unless it just eats your oxygen. Alright, there's nothing else down here. Um... Gunned? Uh, I, I feel like I do need a gun. I feel like... Ooh, there's the iron. That looks like iron. Let's take it. Take it, take it. Alright, I think we're good. Let's get out of here. Back on up. As fast as we can. Return to the boat. Well, to think you actually managed to bring it back, I expected you quietly expire. I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Seems I've underestimated you slightly very well. I show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. It's well optimized, only 42 megabytes. You could say. All right, so let's go ahead and open our phone. Weapon shop, it's downloaded. Open the app and craft our weapon. Oh, let him cook, man. Let him cook. Oh, that, that's fancy. New weapon basic underwater rifle. Right on, man. I take back what I said about you being a gamer, man. All right. Heh, <laughs> with a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Well, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Weapon chests? You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. Yeah. Oh, but I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Aha. Yeah. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. Yeah. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity. Oh, okay. Nice. Weapon shop has been unlocked. You can craft weapons at the dust weapon shop. Nice. Okay, uh, looks like we got to do some restaurant stuff now. Mm. Wrap up your day and get things ready to have Boncho Sushi. Alright, well, that's our day, I think. What is this? This is... This is our storage. So, harpoon gun, our gun. And we have charms. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and go to Boncho Sushi. already dived twice all right so we need to do those are our ingredients all right we got to make some new stuff on our menu let's see what we can add here what can we do here we got we can do two of these let's get let's make sure we have we can enhance stuff i don't know if i should enhance stuff yet let's just max one Um, I don't know, I'll do max four. I don't want to be running out of stuff. All right, now, now we're. All right. Um, sure. Anybody want the fried egg jellyfish? Go ahead. All right. Uh, see close. Um, well, this is about to get interesting. Let's do this. Let's. Failure ready to happen. Oh boy. Let's see if I actually remember the controls here, by the way. I may have already forgotten. Okay, okay, where are you sitting? Where are you sitting, lady? Okay, right in the front. Easy, easy as you get. Alright. 
All right, he's cooking. No drink. Got it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. cooking, cooking, cooking. Okay, hold on. I'm on my way. Ooh, you need tea. I'm on my way. Good. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you're so far away. I'm here. All right, all right, all right. There you go. All right, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm already here. Oh crap. I got to take that off the menu. Menu, take this off. Take that. Manage. Ah, swap. No, oh, uh, this one. Okay. Swap. Okay. All right, leaving. Hurry up and cook. Whatever. All right, you're cooking. Got it. I had to take that off. All right, uh, oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm out of shape, man. I'm out of shape. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. All right, all right. Oh, all right. Oh, oh my gosh, he's so slow. Ugh. Go, go, go. All right, all right, all right. All right. Eesh. Why do you sit so fat? Okay. So far away. That should be it, right? We're good? We're good? Nice! We served everybody. We only sold out of one thing. Hey, we made $62 and we earned five stars. Let's go. That That is actually pretty stressful. <laughs> I can only imagine how we'll get later on. That is, uh... Who the heck is this guy? Are you Dave by chance? Yes, what is it, sir? Oh, I'm always right about these things. Haha. -ha. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People Civilization. The Sea People Civilization. Aha, uh -huh, I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you about them? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have asked. Who the heck are these people? The Sea People Civilization lives in legends. They are said to have... Wait, it's a town... Uh, okay. Oh, this is... This is continuous. I cannot read that fast. Alright, so it seems like it's just like an underwater... Like, town. That's about all there is to the story. A bunch of mermaids. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. But proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find. One that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea? You only see such things in comic books or games. We're playing a game. So that makes sense. What makes you so sure that they were real? My assistant closely analyzed in an artifact found nearby and found that it was from a known civil... No. And found that it was from no known civilization. It's dated to uh, around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Hmm, that is interesting. But what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency... Oh my gosh. Investments didn't plan out, just like everybody else's, and he won't be around for a good while. That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh. My assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. We're busy with the sushi bar, man. We don't have time to look for a fantasy town underneath the water. Not in the hunt for Atlantis? I don't think we can. Sorry to enter the conversation. I'm Krobra. I work with Dave. Of course we could help you. Oh, we should help you. I'll gladly do so. He's asked for money. We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Lots of sushi will be bursting at the seams. Ah, oh, he just sees it as money. I suppose you have a point. All right, I'll help. Isn't that lucky? Of course, I won't be asking you to work for free. Okay, that's good. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Right on. Let's go. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. 
These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing. First of all, install the iDiver app on your phone before we proceed. The iDiver. iDiver. Oh, this is where you upgrade your diver. Well, that makes sense. How to use your... Okay. Alright, so the phone. Uh, I... Okay. iDiver. Upgrade the diving suit for free. Upgrade. Alright, so it's now rank 2. I bet I'll venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget, never forget that anything can happen in the deep water, so I'll be in touch. Alright, so we have to find the Sea People artifact 70 meters down below. Oh, we're now on to chapter 1. Okay. All right, well, that was just the prologue. Uh, what else can we possibly upgrade here? I have money, right? 67? Is that enough to do any- Ooh, air tank. Uh, yeah, may as well upgrade that, right? Nice. Well... That's what I'm gonna do it for this one. I don't want to get too far ahead and make this too long of a video. Uh, let me know down below if you'd like to see a series on this. I kind of just playing this as a cozy game and something I may do off screen, but if you are wanting to see more, let me know, and I'll gladly upload some more content of this game. And, uh, yeah. Hit that sub button and bell notification to be notified when the next episode is posted. Who knows, it may be this game, or it'll be the next game. I know there's a bunch of games coming out this month, so... Can't wait to see what happens next, and not just this game, but those yet to come. <laughs> Alright, yeah, take care. See you guys then. Have a good one. Adios. Good night. Good evening, good morning. Uh, have a good rest of your day. Uh, Alright, bye.